In this lesson we do some work on length conversions. Now the base unit for length is the metre. And some of the things we need to know off by heart, one kilometre equals 1,000 metres. One metre is equal to 100 centimetres, and one centimetre is equal to 10 millimetres. The word kilo comes up a bit. It means a thousand. So a kilometre means a thousand metres. The word milli, you might see, is one thousandth. So the word millimetre means a thousandth of a metre. Let's look at some examples. We're asked to complete the conversions. The first one, seven kilometres equals how many metres? Now some of these you'll know very easily. You'll just know the answer without thinking too much about it. But I'm going to go through the technique because we sometimes will get some harder numbers to deal with. So, a couple of things. If we change a bigger unit to a smaller one, we multiply. And the reverse, if we're changing from a smaller unit to a bigger one, we divide. So in this case, we're changing kilometres to metres, and we know that a thousand metres make up one kilometre, so we're dealing with a factor of a thousand. We're also going from kilometres to metres. In other words, we're going from a bigger one to a smaller unit. So that's why we multiply by a thousand. So seven times a thousand is seven thousand. So we know that seven kilometers equals seven thousand meters. Again, you may just know that, and that's fine if you do. The next one, 5.6 meters equals how many centimeters? Well, we're changing meters to centimeters. The connection up there, we know that a hundred centimeters equals one meter. So we're dealing with a factor of a hundred. Just got to decide whether we're going to multiply or divide. We're changing meters to centimeters. So meters is bigger than centimeters, so we're going from big to small. So we multiply by that hundred. Now 5.6 times 100, if you remember your decimal point work, we move the point two times to the right, we would get 560 as our answer. The next one, 4.3 centimeters equals how many millimeters? Well, we're changing centimeters to millimeters. The connection between the two is 10 millimeters to make up a centimeter. So we're dealing with a factor of 10. We're also changing from centimeters to millimeters. We're changing something that's bigger to something that's smaller in terms of units. So we multiply. We multiply by that 10. And 4.3 times 10, okay, we just move the decimal point one place, we would get 43. 0.95 meters equals how many millimeters? Well, meters to millimeters, what's the connection? Well, on our table, we know a connection between meters and centimeters, and then we know a connection between centimeters and millimeters, okay? But looks like we're going to take two steps for this one. So let's go from meters, let's change it to centimeters, because we know that step. And the way we do that is we times by 100. We've seen that. So 0 0.95 times 100 equals 95. So at the moment, we're up to 95 centimetres. We then need to change centimetres to millimetres. So the connection there, 10 millimetres make up a centimetre. And changing from centimetres to millimetres, we times by that 10. So 95 times 10 is 950.